The story I'm going to tell you is about when I was seven years old and thought chocolate was its own brand of candy. I was born and lived in Chongqing until about eight. I lived in a residential compound with my mother. There was one convenience store for 20,000 people. It carried everything from salty fish to toilet paper to your favorite snacks. My favorite snacks happened to be chocolate and popsicles. And for the longest time, I thought those were the brand names of those things because I couldn't imagine that there was more than one type of chocolate. When I arrived in the U.S. and walked into a stop and shop for the first time, everyone saving at our anniversary sale. Stop and shop. I couldn't believe that an entire aisle could be devoted to chocolate and that they could come in different packages and flavors, sizes, and prices. Shopping is the new creed. 25 years after I left China, China has developed from a state-run socialist economy to a vulture-like hyper-capitalism, where you're a click away from anything your heart desires. I realized that this country, which used to n not give me any choice, were filled with sellers who were at each other's throats to provide the largest variety of options for customers. Two years ago, I reported a story on JD.com, one of the biggest e-commerce companies in China. They're often referred to as the Amazon of China. JD has jumped onto the big leagues. It's the world's third largest internet company by revenue. In that sense, it internalized China's transformation from scarce scarcity to abundance of choice without the memory of what China was like 25 years ago. If you were just to parachute in and report on JD, even though it feels like a story about culture and self-expression, maybe on an individual level, it's really important to understand that if China did not radically overhaul its economy and open its market, 1.4 billion people might still be shopping at the kind of commissaries that I was shopping at 25 years ago, you know, 20,000 people to a single convenience store. JD, because you can't beat the prices. Upper West Side, the more bookstores there are in the neighborhood, the better it is. Hot Pot, because the spicier, the better. Pre-Olympics Beijing or post-Olympics Beijing? Pre-Olympics Beijing, because the place, for better or worse, felt a more authentic version of uh, um.